In Hong Kong, pro-democracy demonstrators are holding a rally as protests enter an 11th week. Earlier, thousands of teachers took to the streets in a peaceful show of solidarity. Mass demonstrations began in the territory over proposed extradition laws, but have broadened into a pro-democracy movement concerned about China's growing influence in Hong Kong. Today also saw a rival rally held in support of Hong Kong's close ties with Beijing. From there, Stephen MacDonald sent us this report. Many in the pro-democracy camp had tried to make this weekend more peaceful. Following weeks of escalating violence on the streets here, the idea was to return to what's seen as Hong Kong's traditional way of demonstrating. Teachers marched through the streets in support of their students, saying they should be allowed to participate in the pro-democracy push without fear of retribution. I'm very worried about their um, physical safety because now the police seems to be um, um, beating people indiscriminately. The government is uh, doing a lot of, is making a lot of mistakes, and including. Uh, they are uh, treating the next generation badly, uh, no matter in suppressing the uh, protest using excessive forces. Another march in Hong Hum was held without incident. The organisers of this rally urged young activists to go home afterwards. China's state media has shown images of paramilitary police gathering just across the border in the city of Shenzhen and elsewhere in order to try and support the police. What you might call a pro-Beijing rally was taking place. They say they're in favour of the government of Carrie Lam. They say they're in favour of the way the police are handling things. And in this way you can tell the polarised nature of the debate in this city. However, Beijing has warned the city's hardline activists that if unrest spins too far out of control, it will become involved and use overwhelming force.